Jesus Christ. All right. Very nice. Matcha Berry Mako, well done. Very nice. Got the VIP status. Came out and rocked it. Hey, somebody check. Is the stream back on now or no? Okay, sorry about that. I put up an effect. I pulled up a video clip, and I don't know if the video clip's corrupt or something, but everything got locked up. It's a religious video clip, too, which is kind of weird. So when he was doing the fucking sluts, I was going to have, like, some lady in a gown releasing doves and shit just for the obvious <laughs> juxtaposition. <laughs> and uh, it just locked up. Yeah. All right. This is my buddy, Mr. President, JNP. Mr. President, JNP, coming up next for you. I got to thank TJ again. Just sent another $5 to the stream. Thank you kindly, TJ. You the man. It's a $10 evening. <laughs> Nice avatar. Thick ass belly button. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know if I can trust you or not. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to recite some right, three stupid poems over here that we wrote down. <laughs> this shouldn't take that long. <clears throat> All righty. I got to find it here. All right. First one. There once was a man from Nantucket with a dick so long he could suck it. With cum on his chin, he had a big grin. Said if my ear was the cunt, I'd fuck it. That's nice. the first one. <laughs> the second one. Second. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet and shoved a light bulb up her ass. They awoke the spider who lived inside her and said, hey, free electric and gas. <laughs> nice. <laughs> And the last one here. There once was a man from Mass with balls made of brass. In stormy weather, they clanked together and sparks flew out his ass. Yes, they did. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right, guys, keep it going for JMP, y'all. Back when I was a kid, back when I was a kid, there was this uh, comedian named Andrew Dice Clay. And he talked like this. How you doing out there today? Good to see you. Yeah, and uh, the yeah. thing he would do, he'd come out on stage and he looked like uh, he looked a lot like John Travolta when he was younger, which is funny. But he would come out on stage in a leather jacket, smoking a cigarette, talking like a tough dude from Brooklyn. And he'd come out on stage and go, Hey, uh, little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Long came a spider, sat bound beside her, said, Hey, what's in the bowl, bitch? Old Mother Hubbard, Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to get her poor dog a bone. Mother Hubbard rolled over, Mother Hubbard bent over, Rover took over and she got a bone of her own. Hey, hey. Jack and Jill went up the hill, each with, each with a buck and a quarter. Jill came down with 250 to fucking whore. All right. <laughs> Jack Spratt could eat no fat. His wife could eat no lean. So she just jerked his floppy dick and he licked her asshole clean. Oh. <laughs> Little boy Blue, he needed the money. <laughs> All right, yeah, Andrew Dice Clay. You ought to check him out. He's fucking hilarious, dude. He's also like, it doesn't, the humor doesn't hold up well. There's a lot of like gay jokes and shit. It's not very funny. But uh, he is, uh, yeah. he goes, he goes, the woman that lived in the shoe. there was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, her uterus fell out. Oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys remember Mother Goose. I banged her. Oh, <laughs> all right. Let's keep it moving right along. Oh, shit. Jimmy Nutblast is back in the house. Let's get our hands moving. Ready to blast his nizzos all over the stiznage. Give it up for James Nutblast Jr. Um, what's up? So, you know, I'm looking at this list here, and I'm like, I don't even know if I have, like, any songs left. Because I've been, like, on VR chat so much, like, the last, like, two weeks. I think I've literally played so many of these so many times. You played and yourself, I feel like Nutblast. if I were to play any of these, they'd be, they'd be a repeat. Do it again. Do it again. Um... So I'm gonna do one song that I just wanted to do for for fun. It's just like the matchup one I usually do. I'm sorry if you heard this like a billion times because I probably played a billion times, but I'm learning more that I'll do eventually. But like I usually I usually just go through like a few songs at a time and then like 
this is one that I've always just known. So if you know any of these songs, um, yeah, I played this last night, so I'm sorry if you heard this last night, but I'll try to keep it a little no, shorter this time. So. Like I said, I'm using a loop pedal too, so I'm just kind of setting up the loop for this. It's gonna take a few seconds. Okay, here we go. What the? F Technical difficulty. Hold on. Sorry, my loop pedal is like fucking up right now. Hold on. Sunshine when she's gone. It's not warm when she's away. Water, real quick, guys. Cause ain't no sunshine when she's gone. She's always gone too long. Anytime she goes away. I wonder this time if she's gone. If she's gonna stay. Writings on the wall Very superstitious Letters about to fall I'm gonna take my clothes To the old town the road I'm gonna ride till I can't go no more I'm gonna take my clothes To the old town the road There it is, y'all. So <laughs> Keep it going for Jimmy Nutblast, y'all. It's fucking awesome.
Da 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 da. It's the motherfucking D R E, Doctor Dre. All right, all right. James Nutblast Jr. <laughs> Straight up faded or just white boy faded? Which one, please? No, I'm fucking. Right, I'm gonna learn a song in the line and then I'll play it when I get up back up there. I'm just gonna learn a brand new. Which song. line? Like the line right now, or like the line for your COVID vaccination next week, or like the line for your Costco grocery pickup? I mean, which line? Here now? Um, the line to get my name legally changed to James. Uh, Esquire Nut Blast. You should really class it up and change your name to James <laughs> Testicle Emission. I think that'd be much classier. <laughs> instead of just Nut Blast. It should be Testicle Emission. Well, I am going to get my PhD, so That's I will definitely so do that. Nice. You know, uh, Dr. Pepper Dr. Pepper went to medical school for four years to become doctor to make that soda, and it's like he wasted his money. Because I swear to God, as good as that shit drinks or tastes, I'd have bought that shit from Mr. Pepper. No problem. All right, listen. <clears throat> we got uh, we got your next act coming up right now. Is that Doctor Plague back up again? Yep. Doctor Plague, are you Dr. there? Doctor Plague, Plague. Uh, calling Doctor Plague. His parents or something. Can All right, who's him? after him? Is it Hanson? Uh, 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 yeah, it's Hanson. All right. Uh, is that Alexis? Hanson. Alexis? Alexis Hanson. Hanson. Alex, Alex Hansen, y'all make some noise. Here comes Alex Hansen, everybody. Oh, he's back. He's back. He's back. He's back. You're next. Well, just. Uh, he's let back. Alex go. Let Hansen go. Oh, oh okay. He, 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 he can go. All right. Alex is. Give him one moment, please, folks. Alex, I like your hat, G. From underneath the trees, we watch the sky, confuse the stars, sound lights. I never dreamed that you'd be mine, but here we are, we're here tonight, singing a made I, I'm alive, I'm alive, singing a ain't made I, I'm alive. If everyone cared and nobody cried, if everyone loved and nobody lied, if everyone shared and swallowed their pride, could we see the day? JNP, good but hanging out with you, buddy. Have a good Sunday, homie. Hey, hey, may I die. I'm alive. Hey, may I die. Hey, may I die. Hey, may I die. I'm alive, and in the end, the fireflies are only like a paradise. They show the world that they were wrong. They teach them all to sing along, singing a midnight. I'm alive, I'm alive, singing a midnight. I'm alive. If everyone cared and nobody cried, if everyone loved and nobody lied, if everyone shared and swallowed the pride, could we see the day where nobody died? If everyone cared and nobody cried, if everyone loved and nobody lied, if everyone shared and swallowed the pride, could we see the day or nobody die? Nobody die. As we lie beneath the stars, we realize how small.
All we are, the leak of love, like you and me, we imagine what the world could be. If everyone cared and nobody cried, if everyone loved and nobody lied, if everyone cared and saw with the pride, could we see the day when nobody lied? If everyone cared and nobody cried, and everyone loved and nobody lied. Macha Berry murdered it with her stand up act. Very nice. We see the day when nobody died. Ah, the day. We see the day when nobody died. Ah, the day when nobody died. Ah, nobody died. Zombie killer, I cannot complain. Yo! Yeah, I'll be honest. I'm just happy nobody fucking died. All right. Doing it up, my man. Hanson! A water or two? No, look at all the donkey cum. Donkey cum? What the fuck am I listening to? All right, it's about that time. When I say Sparko, you say Boalo. When I say Spirko, you yeah. say Boalo. Spirko. Drinko. All right. I've never done this before. I'm going to attempt a comedy rap. I'm just going to try to make the silliest rap that I possibly can. <coughs> I just downloaded a shit ton of new beats from YouTube, too, so let me try. Hold on. Fuck yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so in all fairness, I have not heard this beat before. Comedy rap for the Open Mic Night Theater. Maybe I'll get a tip if I do a really silly rap. Please, my mother needs surgery, so her big toe will fit inside of her pumps. I smacked my grandma's titty at Thanksgiving dinner. My fucking uncle said good shot and he called me the winner. I went outside butt naked and stuck my dick in the snow just because though. I like to go to the fucking church and spread my butt cheeks in front of the priest. Is it just me? It makes all the nuns look pissed off and start to grieve. I bring them to their knees. I like to go to a fucking library and fucking walk in there and show her my hairy chest and tell her I'm a fucking animal and the rest is history because I banged her in the mystery section. Look at me. I like to, I don't know, kick an old lady in her belly just to be silly. And when she falls down, I roll her down the hill See, It's like a fucking tumbling snowball, getting bigger fucking moment by moment, y'all. In the middle of that old lady mush, I crush on the microphone. She's so old, her middle name is Dust. She was at the fucking uh, Last Supper getting tips, I trust. Uh, on this microphone, I'm never complete. I say some silly shit that'll, shit that'll get you out of your seat. I swear to God, I don't wipe my ass with toilet paper. I use a sheep to do the job. I just ride it around the room and fucking butt scoop right across his back, my dude. Hey, got that cotton up my asshole. I'm the king of this castle and I don't want no hassle. One time I watched Monday Night Raw and I imagined I was wrestling Hulk Hogan in my drawers. One thing led to another and then he said, Hey, give me a reach around, brother. Hey, it's me, Manifesto on the stage. Talking stupid shit like every single day. I swear to God, one day I put a scratch and sniff sticker on the bottom of my tub. I almost drowned that day. Uh, I can't believe what's going on. Christmas fucking snowflakes and peppermint sticks are on the stage with some thumbs up. I stuck my thumb up. My guess what? That's right. It's like I didn't pull out a plum. I just pulled out a dingleberry. Kind of scary. Hey, yo, my asshole is so hairy. Yo, it's got a goatee. And my nutsack has mutton chops if you stop and look and see. Uh, I just like uh, what I'm doing. I'm just screwing on the microphone. I got them laughing because I ruin everything that they think they're going to hear. I swear to God, I got the inner part of my ear pierced. Now my eardrums are fucking broken. I've been smoking so much fucking weed, I'm token every single day. I don't play. For Christmas, I got my baby niece a bag of razor blades and said, be careful. And then I put them in her crib and it was fucking awful. When it was finished, it looked like a baby seal had just been clubbed. 
She loves her uncle though, son, yeah And I just rock it all day long I just bought my mama a triple XL thong I said, put it on and dad'll be happy Said, oh, that's fucked up Your mom's bush is so nappy She needs to take a painkiller just to shave it off Then he fucking grabbed his mouth and did the COVID cough Dropped his ass hell and started scraping the floor Yo, my dad was the king of gay porn back in the 70s They called him Harry Dick Cause he had a hairy dick Yo, it's scary thick <laughs> uh, stupidest shit I could think of It pretty much revolved around Genitals and shits But I appreciate you listening <laughs> Might be the dumbest shit I've ever done I'm pretty sure you could probably replay that footage To a shrink or something And get me committed for a couple days I'm pretty sure Alright We got Dr. Plague coming up next Hopefully we got He's back in town Dr. Plague you here? You here? Alright Here comes Dr. Plague everybody I'm going to check the PayPal and see if I got any silly rap donations. <laughs> Hi, I'm back. I can't, ow, fuck, I hit my elbow. I can't hear you, dude. Why in the hell does it feel like whenever you hit your elbow, your entire nervous system just dies? It all shuts down. Because that's where a guy's Every clitoris is. Of it. What? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> That is the best answer I've ever heard. Um, we're going to start off with a fact. This is kind of a stupid fact, but um, one of the main predators of a moose is actually a killer whale. Oh, my. What? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So the way this works is actually moose can mooses can actually, like, um, well, what they do is they dive down in the water. They can dive up to like 40 feet below the surface to eat underwater vegetation. So imagine being a scuba diver, and all you see is a big-ass moose in front of you that's 40 feet down, and then suddenly you see a killer whale come and chomp it in half. Essentially, it's crazy. But we're going to start off with a nice little song. Oh, my. That was random. That was very random. It is. It is. Yes, indeed. Huh? Hold on, I'm typing it. Yes, I'm. I'm still here. Can everyone hear me? Yeah, it is sounds like a white dude talking on the microphone. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed, it sounds like a white guy who's trying to sound cool and fun. But no, you're doing that. Yeah. You're doing that. You're good. Oh no, no, no! Trust me, dude. I'm so pale. My parents could have been Elton John in a bedsheet. He's so white. His middle name is Aspirin Mayonnaise Tablet. Oh. <laughs> I'm so white, my diet's mayonnaise and kale. <laughs> oh! He's so white, his favorite color is transparent. Oh! <laughs> okay, we're gonna start out with a fun little song. Mary, Mary, Mary. Oh, this sounds good. I'm gonna turn up my sound a bit. I hope the sound is good, otherwise it's gonna sound crap. Every time I go to dinner, seems like a little bit thinner. I'll all sit down at the breakfast table. I can talk, well they're not able. But when I look at them, I find there's a single question on their mind. I wish you could go back to the way it was. It's not easy now because... My whole family thinks I'm gay, I guess it's always been that way. Maybe it's cause of the way that I walk, makes them think I like boys. But I like boys. This goddamn question just won't go away. And I get asked every single day, but the way they ask it is not a surprise. Like, how was your day? Do you like to kiss guys? This is the worst, baby. This is my fear. Cause now their opinions are crystal clear. My family isn't shocked. I'm in the closet and the door is locked. Now my glory days are gone. I was John Elway, now I'm out in John. My whole family is now sex. Watching SpongeBob had side effects. And, I, and that's what I said. Hey, you dead. Hey, you dead. Hey, dead. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. <clears throat> Just 
cause I'm on the cheerleading team. Well, my birthday party had a Broadway theme. When I go outside, <laughs> what do I see? That the clouds in the sky swell F A G. Cause I think God might think I'm gay. What does he know anyway? My grandma gave me a present just this year. She in the card said, Happy birthday, queer. My whole family thinks I'm fab. But hey, bro, take a stab. Come on. Why doesn't he get women? There's no other way. It's because I'm lanky, not because I'm gay. Not because I'm gay. Just cause I'm afraid of my soul Where the favorite color is the rainbow <laughs> I don't mean to fear but I feel must Cause I'm losing the people that I thought I could trust Because even my boyfriend thinks I'm gay <laughs> Just kidding, yeah Yeah mm, You'll probably think I'm gay Man, the song is counterproductive La 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 la. Because my whole family thinks I'm gay. <laughs> what do they know anyway? You gotta look right through the haze. Easy bake oven was just a phase. My family thinks I'm queer. That is all I'll ever hear. Cause I've been as straight as a ramp. If you don't count Bible camp. I'm not gay, I swear. Yes, that is another song that I stole away Bo Burnham. Um, okay, so before I go, I'd like to end it on a couple jokes because I feel like it. <clears throat> I want to do some more poems because that's now my new thing. <clears throat> Mary had a little ram. It, lamb. It ran into a pylon. 10,000 volts went up its arse. Now its wool is towed to nylon. What? Jack and Jill ran up the hill to have a bottle of brandy, but Jack got a shock and a mouthful of cock when he found out Jill's real name was Randy. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, and another thing, um, Manifesto, you like Amy Schumer, don't you? I know who Amy Schumer is, sure. Don't, don't you like her? Yeah, I know who yeah, she okay. is, sure. Well, guess what, guys? One, one stolen joke is a coincidence. Two is weird. Three is very suspicious. And 33 stolen jokes is an Amy Schumer concert. concert oh, English. Shit. I've never heard that one. Yeah, give it up, Dr. Plague. Yay, yay. Oh, boy. Very nice. Let's see. We go on and on and on until the brink of dawn. How about it, baby? All right. Let's see. It is currently 12.23 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. Spargo. Drink a shot for that. The in that big old bottle of fucking wine. I seen that selfie you put on the Discord. This shit's funny as fuck. Miss, baby. That shit's fucking funny. <laughs> All right. Is that such like Mars coming up next? Yep, that's me. All right, guys and girls, put your hands together for such like Mars. Hey, uh, have you ever heard about the three eggs? No, what happened? Too bad. Two were bad. <laughs> Too bad. Uh, you know, you know what's funny? It's funny that like we we watch a bunch of documentaries about how bad McDonald's is for you, and like the meat is like fake, and it, and we're like, that's disgusting. Y'all have a Big Mac, a large fry, actually two, make that two, and a large, and a large Dr. Pepper. Uh, that's all, that's all I have for you guys. I couldn't think of any more jokes. Well, hey, we'll take it. We'll take it. Thanks for that. Such like Mars. Such like Mars. How about it? Very nice. So it is, uh, it is 1224 Eastern Standard Time. California is... Three hours behind that, if I'm it not is, mistaken, that would take yeah, that it's, to... It's like it's 924 right now. 924, and if we go to Hawaii, yeah, that takes it back a couple more hours. So let's see. Uh, I was doing at 924. Let's try this. 
Me too. Telephone number, Hawaii Pizza Place, open now. Yes. Yes. That's it. Yes. All right. Let's see. Yes. Let's see. Oh, it gave me uh, it gave me local numbers. I said Hawaii. You sum them a gun. We could try. We could try L.A. though too. Or er, West Coast. Try it out. Take two. <laughs> Come on, voice to t- telephone number. Pizza. You son of a gun. This is fucking stupid. Why does my cell phone Siri, act like it has Tourette's? Hey, hey Siri. <laughs> it does. My cell phone just hiccups all the what time. It never wants to cooperate and just operate smoothly like it's supposed to. Siri, you're a cunt. It's a giant problem. I'm telling you right now. This and those people being forced to fucking work as prisoners in China. These are my top two concerns lately. <laughs> oh my God. Waiting for extra seconds for my cell phone and human rights violations. I'm very much about it. <laughs> Telephone number California Los Angeles Pizza Place open now. What the fuck is that? Somebody texted me in the middle of a prank call? Come on. Telephone number Los Angeles California Pizza Place open now. All right, let's see what happens. You see how long that shit took? Yeah. I'm saying, it was yeah. like, I'm pretty sure it was about a half hour after I said the shit. And it was like, here you go, buddy. All right, let's see. Let's call this one. What up, Kai? How you been, brother? Everything going good in the hood? Sweet. They got this new teacher down there at the high school for English class trying to teach everybody Shakespeare by rapping. Man, fuck that. Pretty sure I've seen a movie like that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, it's kind of cool. Listen. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Don't go start pizza place. Can you call, please? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, how you doing tonight? Hey, if I were to order two, if I, if, oh, thank you. I'm sorry, you're, you're doing good. It's, I'm doing good too. God bless you, brother. Uh, how okay. much? How much? How long would it take if I ordered two pizzas? How long would it take for me to uh, come down there and be able to uh, pick them up? One hour pizza. I'm very busy right now. Okay, and how how big is a large pizza? That's uh, 14 inches. All right, I need two pizzas. I need a uh, just a large cheese pizza, and then I need a 14 inch plane. Okay, so you have a buy one, get one free. Oh, I, I buy one, get one free? That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's uh, $21 for two, just cheese. No, the large the large is the cheese, the 14 inches, the plain. Yeah, 14 inches, yeah. Right, 14 inch plain and a large cheese. Only one? One of each. Okay, one cheese and what else? I'd like one large cheese pizza and then one of the 14 inches you were talking about, the 14 inch plane. No, the 14 inches is the large pizza. No, the large is the cheese, the 14 inches is the plane. Yeah, the large one is the 14 inches. No, the large is cheese, the 14 inches plain. Yes? You see what I'm saying? No, I don't understand it, sir. Yeah, I would like just two pizzas, the large right? Pizza is 14 inch pizza. I'm sorry, say that again? The large pizza is 14 inches. No, the 14 inches, sir, is the plain. The large would just be the cheese pizza. Okay. So the big one got one free. The 20, large one. The large is the cheese, sir. The uh, the uh, 14 inch should be a plain pizza. So if you got one large cheese, <laughs> one 14 inch plain, I'll take those. And you said about an hour? Yeah. Okay, that sounds good, man. One large cheese, one 14 inch plain. Appreciate you. No, the large one is 14 inches. Sir, I don't know how else to say this. The large is the cheese. The 14 inch is the plain. He's getting so mad. You want just only one? 
I want cheese on the large. And on the plane, that should be the 14-inch, sir. You see what I'm saying? Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. Hold on one second. You're the pizza okay, man. So one large cheese pizza. Right? One large cheese pizza and one 14-inch plane. Sounds awesome. I'm hungry. So you want two? Yes, one 14-inch plane, one large cheese, please. Okay. So you want two large cheese pizzas? Sir, sir, come on, we're going in circles. The large is the cheese. The 14 inches is the plane. All right, picture this. Picture this. Picture this. Picture this. There you are in your kitchen, and you're making a large cheese pizza. Now you're making a 14-inch plane. Now make that vision a reality, and I'll see you in an hour. Come on, man. All right. Ah shit! He just he just hung up on me. He just hung up on me. <laughs> he had enough. He tapped out. He tapped out. He tapped out. <laughs> he tapped out. He tapped out. He tapped out. And if anybody wants to donate to the prank phone call fund, hey, I, I had this idea a while back. Uh, I'm gonna do a. Uh, if you guys are cool with this, I'm thinking about putting together a. Uh, like maybe seven to ten fake prank phone calls, stuff that I can I can do during the day, but not at night, because like a library's not open right now, or like, you know, a fucking whatever, a chicken farm where I can really get in there and cause some mayhem. <laughs> it's like uh, all I ever call now is just like truck stops and convenience stores and shit and restaurants. So uh, yeah, I'm thinking about doing like uh, putting together a prank phone call CD and the or download and then like doing like a five dollar donation to the stream and you get a copy of it so thinking about it working on it see if you guys might be interested anyhow very nice that was fun man i definitely dug it we got wax poetic coming up next for you everybody and don't forget he's going to be here for 60 minutes and then the next guy will probably be up there for an hour wait a minute an hour is 60 minutes no 60 minutes is for the first guy an hour is for the second guy but wait a minute, that's the same amount of time. No. <laughs> that was incredible. He played his part so well, that guy at the store. I'd have just shut my mouth and sold two pizzas not giving a fuck. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do a comedy song. Actually, it's an original comedy song. I wrote this about two hours before we came. Nice. Show, so it, it's a little, eh. It's a little, eh, but, but we'll try, we'll try. There we go. Yes, you're saying that it could get better, things could get better, but things could get worse. If you live without a friend and you have no one to love, you just count yourself lucky that you don't have herpes. And if you have herpes and you're listening to this, don't get depressed, don't be pissed. Lots of people have herpes and it isn't a big deal, just count yourself lucky that you are not on crack. If you're on crack and you're listening to this Don't get depressed, don't be pissed Addiction is reaction to a fucked up world Just count yourself lucky that you don't have <laughs> AIDS <laughs> Man, sure, I don't get them too worked up Listen to this, don't get depressed, don't be pissed I'm not you're malicious, just having Shit fun can be treated. Just count yourself lucky that you don't have cancer You saw it coming, I knew you did <laughs> Have cancer and you're listening to this Don't get depressed, don't be pissed Bald heads are sexy and you might still make it Just count yourself lucky that you are not dead <laughs> And if you are dead and you're listening to this I'm really impressed, how the fuck are you doing that? are dead you're listening to this don't get depressed don't be pissed if you're living in hell and there's maggots in your head just count yourself lucky that you are not trump thank you oh, oh shit dude dude jeez louise wrote that shit wrote that shit a couple of hours ago how fucking good is that that is pretty fucking good. That's like, like a genuine fucking straight up. Man. I could see somebody covering that song. Like people were covering Bo Burnham shit here tonight. I could see somebody covering that song sometime, man. That's fucking awesome, dude. It's a great fucking song. I like it, dude. It's crazy. What up, Naporius? Hold on, let me see something real quick.
Give me one second. Sure. Uh, again, bear with me just for a moment. I'll tell you what. I'll figure this out and keep things moving. We got Red Productions coming up next. Y'all give it up for Red Productions. All right, I haven't been up for a while. What's the state of the show? Are we still in normal comedy night, or have we shifted? We can be greasy, grease man. Show. If you guys have any extra greasy, ah. jo- if you have any extra greasy jokes, right now is the time. It's the official start of the Grease Show. The Grease Show. Can I see that bumper? Can I see that Grease Show bumper on the stream? We're getting there. Do you have it? Yeah, there it is. Oh, no. Does he have it? There it is. Uh, yes, for anyone who doesn't know the Grease Show, this is where any joke comes in. Anything that you wouldn't tell your grandma or your grandma's sister-in-law or anything of like that. But you're still not getting hateful or any shit like that, please. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's all here just for the comedy, even though it's going to get real greasy. And speaking of greasy, let's do an old favorite. and Something that will ruin my reputation forever. A greasy Mad Lib. How about that? Alright, I have found some uh, words in the stream chat and just around in the audience. Like, uh, fucking and coming, and I'm just gonna immediately place, place those in randomly, just so they are done and dealt with. That and that. Perfect. Okay, is everything good? Good and greasy. Alright. Alright. Stream chat. Are you guys ready? Somebody's to got a put chair in glitch. Some greasy words. Yeah, I got it. Someone's got a chair button. glitch. All right, what's where's my position? Right here. Apple John's in the back of the room. This chair right here. I am, I am slowly teleporting out of the room. What is going there, on? There, you're here? good. He's good for me. Doctor Plague, are you still fucked up with him or no? He's got one more. You guys know where Doctor Who? Yeah. Oh my okay. goodness. One more spot. <laughs> Who else has a chair glitch? Who else cannot see red on stage? Anybody else? I'm sorry, this isn't my fault. Wax, oh, you, go still got, you still got Dr. one over there. You still got one over you there for get, Wax. Uh, get over here, dude. You got to get, you gotta get I Felix to add a toggle chair button in here. And it, it'll there. fix itself if people just turn it on and off. Am I done cloning? Wax Poetic over no. here, too. Yep. Oh, right. uh, not wax poetic. I mean red. Uh, red, red, red. Yeah. Red, where you at? There we go. Got him. I'm over here. We need you over here still, dude. Right here. Right here. Every chair. This one right here. There you go. Sit down in this one right here. Behind the. There you go. Did that do it, wax? My back. Okay, cool. You is get every Felix to add a toggle Has Doctor Who? I heard you. I'll, I'll mention it to server. him. I'll mention it to him. Are we good now, guys? Everybody sit. All right, all right. Am I am I front and center on stage? Yeah, I think you're good, bud. Am I cloning again? Oh no. We gotta stop cloning here, Doctor Doctor Who or whoever the hell is giving me a hard time. All right. What are we looking for? Twitch chat, can you see me? Are you ready to put in all those greasy words? 26 in the Twitch chat. Let's get some uh, suggestions going for the Mad Lib. All right, let's start off with the old-fashioned nouns. We need a person, place, thing, or idea. Nouns. Communism. Oh, yes. Communism. We yes. got We got butt plug and Paris in the chat. Oh, all right. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Hey. <laughs> Paris sounds like a nice vacation. A corpse? Okay. Ew, not corpse. Ooh, I think I found the perfect place for that. Stone Cold Steve Austin, Reg. I'm fucking drunk. 
Keep on going. Stream flowers chat. in the chat. You flowers. Got flowers. LSD. Hmm. LSD. LSD. Oh dear. Oh dear. Um. Stone Cold. Mankind. That's oddly specific. Stone Cold. Mankind, bro. <laughs> fifty pounds. Let's see. Fifty pounds. Tori Wilson. Give me a black tar. <laughs> Heroin. Donkey. Perfect. We got All donkey. Right, we're moving on. Friday. We're moving on to adjectives. Plump. What? Something to describe the noun. Plump. Stone cold. Hard. Very hard. Very hard. Got plump. Stone cold is a we, we got juicy. Can juicy. I get a hell yeah for juicy? <laughs> Ice cold. Oh. No, stone cold. Come on, guys! Get time for the grease show. Get picture grease. Veiny, fucking moist. Make it so your mouth has to be bleached by the end of this night. Lube Come on, guys! Lub lubricated. Lubricated. <laughs> Fuck alicious. When you think about it, yes. <laughs> Fuck, fucktastic. Slimy, thick, rock hard. Oh, right. What's that? Kind of cool. We got the chat. Yeah. Like what we got? What we got? Just check in. All right, time. We are moving on to adverbs. This is to describe a verb. Like gently or swiftly. Punishingly. Viciously. Punishingly. Viciously. Viciously. Is that a real word? I don't even know. Viciously. I think uh, I... Um, that's your that's your job. <sighs> Forced. Force? Force forcibly. Uh forcibly, forcibly, forcibly. Supremely. Supremely. So actually, uh, there we go. There's one. Swiftly. Uh -huh. All right, hold on. Sloppily. Very sloppily. I think Where you did that going? very sloppily. Wash your mouth. Swimmy. All right, Swimmy. time, time. Okay, we got some specifics. Stream chat. I would like a liquid. Stream fart, chat. Fart. I would like a liquid. Any liquid. Fart juice. Um, Semen. Fart juice. Vodka. Embryonic fluid. Purple drink. Ooh. I like purple drink. I like embryonic fluid, too. The great mood is green. Embryonic fluid. Yikes. Tajiri. What else do we got? Psychosis. Psychosis. Psychosis is a drink? What is this? Psychosis is a luchador. Stone Cold is a drink. James. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. Yeah, what? let's put psychosis as a liquid now. Psychosis is a liquid, guys. Now go to Webster Dictionary. We gotta edit this. Alright. That depends on where you got it from. Quote the Raven, never more. Alright. Audience. Audience, I need a food. Any food. WWF ice cream bars. How about how about yeast ice cream bars? WWF ice cream bars. Featuring the big boss w man. W Say that one more time. WWF ice cream bars. Featuring the big boss man. <laughs> featuring <laughs> WWF ice, ice cream bars featuring the big boss man? That's it. Ray Trailer, rest in peace. Boss man. Yeast flavored. Yes. We, it needs to be yeast flavored. Turnbuckle flavored. Mm, I right. hear voices in my head. They talk to me. I understand. I'm Randy Orton. Hey, 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 stream chat, stream chat, I got two for you, I got two, I got two things for you to guys figure out. Figure out a body part or a color, I repeat, a body part or a color. The sm I need the both of them, but the have some fun. The small of Stone Cold Steve Austin's back. Soft. <laughs> Steve's <laughs> Steve's <laughs> Steve's <laughs> Steve's <laughs> Steve's 
<laughs> we got rainbow for our color. Okay. And what is our body part? The nape, the nape of the great Kali's neck. <laughs> <laughs> Creativity. He's like a, a seven foot tall leg. wrestler with a moon ah, face. Yes, the third leg. <laughs> Very helpful. <laughs> oh, uh, Marco's, Marco Stunt's height. Marco Stunt's, okay. Marco Stunt's clown Back to the audience. Back to the audience. I need another body part and an article of clothing. Brandy, Brandy Rhodes. <laughs> Randy Rose. <laughs> no, 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 that's not right. I'm just fucking around. We're just naming random wrestlers at this point. <laughs> SCU. Oh, damn. Wait, what? That's a wrestler. Okay. All right. I need an art. I need an article of clothing and a body part. Go. Come on, audience. Let's see. Uh, article of clothing. The Young Bucks headband. Yes. Young. Yes. The Young Bucks the young are a tag bucks. team that wear headbands. It's the Young Bucks headbands. Yes, sir. Young Bucks headbands. Yes. And a body part. Body, body part, part audience. How about you guys over here? Oh, what? Roseanne Barr's third Andrew chin. Andre the Giant's cock. Andre the Giant's cock. Andre the Giant's big French horse cock. All right, we're down to two more. We're almost through this. All right, while the audience figure out a good place, I need the stream chat to figure out a good animal. Jungle Boy. Stream chat, figure out an animal. Audience, I need a place. Batista. Jungle Boy. Borg of Live? What? Stephanie McMahon on a jet ski. I don't know if that's a place. I think that's a person and a place. What are you or looking for again? Object. What are you looking for again? I'm sorry. I'm looking for a place, audience. New Zealand. I'm looking for a place. New any Zealand. Place. That was in the chat. New, New Zealand. Zealand. Yeah, that was in the chat. And then our animal. Uh, Batista. What we got? Batista. Batista. <laughs> Batista. The animal Batista. Road warrior animals. Oh, we got, we got giraffe, wildfish, a furry, of course a furry. Um, what else have we got? Joe Laurinaitis. Furry, per, furry Peter Griffin. Yes. Furry Peter Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank you for this for the follow, my friend. Okay. We I gotta change everything. the color. I can't read the shit. Thank Settle you, down, shit. everyone. Settle down. I gotta ask one more important question. I'm so All right, let's hear it. Mad Reaper. Who would you. like to be my tribute? Do you know where your tribute? Yo, red. Right here. Who's the Lanzig? Plague. Come on up, Plague. The Lanzig, but you gotta call oh, him CD Plague. Punk. Actually, here we go. Oh, there's Plague. Oh, never mind. Yeah, let's, it's, hmm. your show, it's your yeah, show, Red. It's your show, Red. It's your show. All right. Can you see me? Am I not? Am I not cloned anywhere? I can see you okay, right here. Just gotta right make here. sure, Doctor Who. Doctor Who's not causing a problem here. Mm -hmm. okay. Your mic's all fucked um, up, right? By the way, Red, before you start this, I am incredibly high. Okay, I'm just telling you. Oh, that's that's fine. Um, Your mic's also <laughs> echoing. Mm. Lovely. Okay. Do you be careful with okay. that because that. Ah. Hold on. Yep. Let me fix oh, this. Let me fix this. Just... Go ahead. Does that did, yeah. did that fix it right there? I think that fixed it. Yo yo. Hey, can we get some green screen manifest? I think you're good. Hold on for a second. Work. Okay. All right. Um, guys, this might be very difficult to express this, but we'll, we'll do our best. All right. I know okay. you guys had some real interesting. Oh man. Jeez. What do I do? Uh, <laughs> okay, is the echo mostly gone? That's fine. Okay, okay sorry. Alright. I ain't got you a dead cat for my mic. Yes. You can still hear me perfect. Send yes. up and uh Okay, take a deep breath. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. A deep here. breath. 
deep breath. Sparko. Music? Hi? Hello? Oh. Um. No, 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 no. Fake, fake, fake. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Ah, shit. Okay, I, I have to confess this now to you. Because otherwise the music doesn't make any sense. This mic is horrible. Well, look, look, Greg. I lay awake all night on LSD thinking of you. Your thick smile. And our communism in New Zealand. And sexually. Control our meeting and how my heart caressed with the butt buds when I first saw you. Oh. Hey, Garrett FTW, you the man. You Thank you kindly. Rainbow course of yours. <laughs> and this two plump young crush headband. Oh, We're in the middle of a mad lib. Cherished every moment we were together. <laughs> and when I was liberated, when we, when our day came to a close, I can't say how punishingly I regret spilling every yachting fluid on your way. You were quite, quite comfortable about it. for that, you know. You are so beautiful when you are cum filled. <laughs> well, okay, I will admit it. I will admit it. Well, I will admit it. You are ice cold other times, alright? You are pretty ice cold. But look at you. Just look at him. Face the audience. Face the, face the audience, Dr. Plague. Look at his eyes. They're like deep pools of psychosis. More than the moonlight. <laughs> Your cheeks are as rosy as 50 pounds of like our heroin. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Your lips. Your lips are like succulent WWF ice cream bars featuring the Big Boss Man and its yeast flavor. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't even know if I can process this. Your hair is like, is very hot pink, like a furry Peter Griffin on a warm summer's day. Fuck with you again, Dr. <laughs> right soon, forcibly. Ah, <laughs> uh, for anyone I'm wondering, this is my own composition being played in the background. Thank you very much. I hope we can go on another date again. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Keep it going for Red Productions, everybody. Keep it going out there, guys. That was Red Production and his Mad Libs. Uh, Baby, baby, thank you so much. Somebody just raided with a handful of uh, with a handful of viewers, so thank you kindly for the raid. We have got. Let me check something real quick. We have got uh, Plague and Delancic on stage. I'm gonna cap the couches. Does anybody else want to go up? Because if not, I'm gonna cap it after Plague. If anybody wants to go up, come hop on couch on the couch now. And uh, yeah, we got Delancic coming up next for you. All right, all right. It seems, it seems that we have two wrestling fans in the back, so I'll, I'll drink. I'll drink to that. So, Spargo, Bolo. 
it is Drinko. It, it is Drinko plague. <laughs> All right, I, I got I got a really greasy greasy one. I'm gonna I'm gonna be telling um flying dildos by uh Bert Kreischer. Yeah. I'm not okay. I'm I'm not I'm not like I'm not smart, but I'm I'm like smart, but I'm not. I'm not good with facts and stuff. Like, no. I, I was talking to someone the other day, and I, and I realized, I always thought about Anne Frank and Helen Keller. They're, they're the same person. Like, well into my 20s. Like, do you know where I found out? At the Anne Frank house. Do you have any any idea, like, why I went? Like, oh, okay. I, I backpacked through Europe when I was, like, 22. With these, like, four guys. Three lawyers, so I... So I can't say like their names. Um, the other one's named Weicho, and these guys are just fucking nerds. The, the whole time we were backpacking, they were like, hey, "Hey, you want to go like to the Louvre? Do Do you want to go see David? Do you want? We, we should go to like, take a class and learn how they cut diamonds. So like, <laughs> when we get an engagement, we, we can have like like what, what what the fuck is wrong with you guys? We're here to bring. So we're here to bang Swedish chicks. That's it. Like, are you out of your mind? And then one day they're like, "Hey, do you want to go to the Anne Frank house?" I was like, "No, I lit up." I was like, "Fuck yes!" And they're like, "Wow, you you seem really excited." And I was like, "No, we, we don't get a bad Shelly, lead. Thank you kindly and we'll for the donation." We dicks off. Oh. I'll mention it here in a second. And, and they're like, really? I go, yeah. I I've been hearing jokes about this girl my whole entire life. We we'll all get high, get like, plun plunge in the toilet. And they're like, what? I go, do you go in? Do you get to go into the house? And they're like, yeah. You, you can go into the closet. The the they kept her in. And, the and they go, they kept her in a fucking closet? Are you shitting me? And they're like, yeah. The Nazis were looking for her, and I go, the fucking Nazis were looking for her? How do they not put this in the movie? Like, how do the Nazis not find? So, so I, I get excited, I, I get a, like a bag of weed, and I'm like, I can't wait to go to the Anne Frank house. I'm like, beaming, I'm so I'm so pumped up. So on our walk to the Anne Frank house, I'm, I'm in Amsterdam, we pass by a sign that, that says, Live sex, live sex, live sex. Flying dildos. And I'm like, all right, suck a silent dick, Anne Frank. And and we want to see flying dildos. And, and we can, well, what, what are you going to pick? Culture or the Anne Frank house? And I'm going with fucking culture. So I get us tickets and we all go in. Nah, let me ask you guys, has anybody, anybody here been to a, a live sex show? Anyone here? Nah, one time I watched my buddy fuck a chick on a hotel room and shit, but that's about it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, so 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 one guy, so one guy ish, perfect. It, it's it, it's aggressive. It's it's a lot. It's all like it's a lot creepier than you ever think. See, here's the problem with live sex shows. Every show you go, there's totally like a response, and when you go to the show, you know how you know to laugh, but. When you go see the music, you get inspired. But when you go to a live sex show, the only, the only responses to to creep people out are just like, oh, maybe I'll get hard. Mm. So, <laughs> we, we go in, we sit down, it, it's intimate at this at this point, and, and we light a joint, you know, just took some out, took some off the fellas, like, just like like-minded gentlemen, gentlemen. The first woman comes up, no fanfare. No intro music. Not even that hot. She's like a, a sex show six. So she she comes up. She definitely has another job. Like like trust me, it's this fucking intimate. It needs to be like so we we are this close. So she starts like oil rigging herself. You know she's like what? <laughs> <laughs> just like listen listen listen. <laughs> Listen, I'm not big in, into foreplay, but total lack of foreplay it looks like a lot like 
Salt, okay? And she goes into town, and we're making the same look, just like, oh, oh, oh. Which seems to confuse her for like, oh, I guess they can't see. And she goes back to the, like, performing, like, genealogical, like, exams on herself. So now, now a problem with silence. So I immediately start talking to her, and and like, do, do you speak English? She's like, oh, no. I was like, fuck. Uh, you're good at your job. She was like, oh, thank you. And then I go, do you do flying flying dildos? Do you do any flying dildos? And she's like, no. And I was like. Great. Five minutes. Five minutes. She does. She just does this. Just, just for five minutes. She goes town on on herself, and he gets ag aggressive. By the end, we're like, now we're learning about shit that woman's, about the woman's anatomy, and we're like, well, that's her urethra. I think that's amazing. So she gets down. We we, we give her golf claps, you know, just, just small little golf claps. Two girls come on stage, and now if this girl was Thank all song, no dance, Appreciate all the, the girls, effort. these girls are all dance, no song. A lot of foreplay. You can't walk backwards in the story. Like I had to stop and go, ladies, ladies. Man, the Midnight Munchies we, Theater. We, welcome. We just watched a woman. F herself like let's cut Been around since about things mean okay like they're like really making out and now i'm i'm the spokesperson someone's like can you get them to hurry up i'm like sure so i go do you guys want to do you guys do flying dildos Thank and like you. no and i was like okay okay next and they're like huh and we're, and we're like we're, we're good we, we've seen what you have to offer then they leave. A, a guy and a girl that come out. Now this is where it gets. Creepy. I'm not. I'm not a huge feminist, but I believe in women's rights. Okay. And this guy is starts to like starts doing crowd work. He's he's not even incorporating her in it. It's like improv like, team where she sits off to the side, like fucking like one of Jeff Dunham's like dummies. Just just she just bounces up and down, just just, just like that. And he's like. Ah, uh, you guys, this, by the way, this isn't exactly what it uh, feels like. I want you to feel it. You, you guys ready to see me fuck, huh? It's already seen me fuck this shit, man. Yeah. Hey, fuck it, good. It's creeping me out. And it's assault by my morals. And, and I lean over to my friend and just go, Hey, we should go to the Anne Frank house. Which pisses the guy off, and he's like, Oh, don't... Br don't bring in Frank to this room. Don't bring in Frank, man. And I go, what? Fuck, I fucking wish I was in the Anne Frank house right now, so I don't have to see whatever the fuck is going on over there. And then she's, then he starts arguing with me. But he's arguing with me and getting his dick hard, like, like it, it's like, it's like she's pulling it out, and going like, oh man, don't worry, it's, it's getting bigger. I'm like. N not on my watch, it does it. I'm just, I'm just sorry, heckling this dick. Like, think about your mom. And then he's, he's like, hey, fuck you, buddy. F fuck you. And I go, do you have any sisters? And he's like, hey, not now, man. Not now. And I go, we should just go to the Anne Frank house. And he's like, fuck you, fuck you. And and he storms off. And now the lunatics are running the asylum. And I'm there. Like, I'm like their fucking Rosa Tubbsman, not fucking. Wait, not fucking Rosa Tubbsman. God, God damn it! By the way, I I am either I am neither Rosa Parks or Harriet Tubman, right? So I I, I don't know. R right right now, like I'm in he I'm in heaven. Rosa Parks, Harriet Tubman, Helen Keller, and and Frank are going. What the fuck is this guy doing to our names? Helen Keller is like. So I guess I guess I'm the Rosa husband. I'm I'm fucking I'm their fucking like leader. If if he didn't think it was stupid when I was when I started this story, like I I'm leading the charge, and I'm I'm like their 
I'm fucking pulling out a high school chance. Like, we we put our our heads up high, our feet down low. We want flying dildos. We want flying dildos. We want flying dildos. Hey, hey fellas. Yeah. Hey, fellas. Yeah. We want, yeah, flying dildos. Yeah. So they sent out some girl to calm us down, and we boo her off stage. And we're like, get the fuck down, bitch. We only want flying dildos. You heard us. And now they're like, okay, okay. So, woman comes out. The German woman, six feet tall, thigh high, leather boots, biker cap, medicine bag, plops it on the stool and goes, Gen right, gentlemen, gentlemen, calm down. I am the flying dildos. And the place goes fucking bananas. It, it, it's like the control room in NASA and when Polo 13 landed, like, oh, we did it. We did it! Hooray! She, she goes, stop. I don't need a one volunteer from the audience. And these assholes look at me like, you're up, numb nuts. So, I get I get on, on stage. I'm so excited that I brought some change. I feel like I've accomplished something in my life. I'm literally like, look at my... Like, look at my constitu- like, constitu- 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 like, you- you said you want to change? I said- Yeah, constitu- yeah, whatever. I said, I didn't- I didn't say that, but- probably, but I was like, fuck, whatever. I said, I'm Rosa Tubsman, and I don't even realize her, um, putting the handcuff on me, and the second one goes on me, and I go, Hey, maybe we should talk about flying- how flying dildos works. Oh. Like- I feel like I'm not in the dark in this one, and she does not have, like, a happy eyes look on her face. Like, and sweeps her, me, sweeps her legs in, like, a fucking, most Karate Kid movies. And I just land hard. I land so hard, I, I knock the wind out of myself. And let me tell you something about when you can knock the wind out of you. That's, that's a real fucking noise, just, eh. It's so real and real respect real when you hear that you just like oh fuck Cheers uh, uh. my pants off me and my dick pops out of my boxers and unprepared gentlemen I look at my my friend Wito and I go poke it back in poke it back in and he's like I, I will not be doing that and then the air is removed out of, my, out of the room and I, I hear some Guys go, fucking do it. I'm like, what? This this woman strangling my face with it, a 12 inch black dildo, and excalibers it into my fucking mouth. It just does not taste good. Like, gentlemen, you you have a game time decision to make. What, what do you do in this situation? Do you pursue your lips, close your teeth, and hope to block out the shots? Like, could you lose your front ca canines, or do you acquire an open, up, open up handed, just like let her go yard in your jaw? So, I chose the latter. She went eight inches into my throat. Just <laughs> and now I'm gagging. The wind knocked out of me, and my dick's popping out and it's just wiggling like the last unicorn. And she looks at the guy and says. Gentlemen, get your cameras and the line and line up to get a picture with flying dildos. These turncoats line up like they're meeting like the fucking queen. They're like, oh, I can't wait. And everyone takes a picture with me. <laughs> the point of my story, the reason I told you this is because if you ever go to Amsterdam, just go to the Anne Frank house. Thank you. That, that was uh, flying dildos by Bert Kreischer. Give it if up for <laughs> If you guys want you guys to follow me on my uh, twitch.tv slash uh, where every Fridays I play random games, Saturdays I do playthroughs of games, where currently I'm playing Ghostbusters Remastered, so if you guys want to see me, follow my Twitch for mo some weird, fun, weird, random content. Alright, thank you. Alright, Delancic. Hey, yay, let's go. We got Dr. Plague coming up next for you. Here we go, Dr. Plague. it off strong, you are expecting too much for my weak noodle arms. 
I can barely hit anything strong. Um, so, I, I hey man, who just said they ain't got a lot to follow? Who was it? I'm just I, curious. I'm extremely pale. Okay, could like, you tell me, please? I, I'm it's very Jones? Come pale. On, it's Jones, like the dude, first you know thing better. people notice about me. Like, it's super weird. I, I don't understand why it's the first thing. People don't even, like, acknowledge what I'm wearing at all. Like, for instance, I could be walking down the street juggling dildos, and the first thing people would say is, oh, wow, you're super pale. Holy crap. It's just one of those times. Anyways, um, enough about me looking like my entire family genetics comes from Europe. Let's have some fun. Um, so, I have a problem. I think there's something. I think there's something wrong with one of my testicles. One of them's smaller than the other two. <laughs> Anyways, um, so my um, so my ex-girlfriend recently left me for this Indian dude. Dude, I mean, I think she'll treat her well. I mean, I heard they worship cows and all. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaving this off like this. Um, so, I just started a tiny biz. I just started a little business where we weigh objects. It's just like we just weigh like tiny objects. It's nothing too big. It's just a small scale operation. Very nice. Very nice. So, you know. <clears throat> Yeah, my my girlfriend. I mean, another reason she left me is because she thinks I'm way too European. Like, for being like way too European. I mean, I saw it coming from a kilometer away. <laughs> so, it's the Grease Show. Let's rock and roll on the pole. <sighs> oh God, here's. Well, I'm heading back to my roots. Let's see how this goes. Welcome to the Grease Show, we just rock and roll all the dough. Come on now, what do you think this is what we can do with all of this flow? We chillin' in the back of McDonald's, got them deep fryers going. Cause you know this is what we do when the night keeps rolling. Come on now, let's have some fun. This is only 11 wherever you are. Just take a rip out of 10 foot bong, fling the thong, we can have some fun. Let's just get this going. This is my first time of the night, so I'm going kinda cold, but I can keep it warm. Just wait and see what we can do when the signs let's see what we see. Ain't nothing to do, what can we do? Oh no, I'm choking this like a boo. Come on now, I turn around, I'm covering my face, feeling like Super Mario, gonna go. I forgot come to thank you on the stream. Be far, ho, ho. I apologize. Anna says, come on now, let's do play that with Simon and let's keep the fun going. I'm just repeating myself at this point, so let's keep this changing and raining. The name's Dr. Plague, so remember the name. I'm just big braining it up all the time in this room, feeling like I'm playing among us, cause you know they are. Come on now, let's see if I can take this shit way too far. It's the Grease Show, no jokes is off, we got them brakes on hold. Cause we all know tragedies will be exclusively joked about on the night of the heavens. And this doesn't matter if it's too far, too dark, we're gonna go all the time. The only thing that's darker than this far is the fact that I'm chilling here in the shadows like I'm Scar. Yo. And before I leave... Yeah, if only I had something like that, that'd be great. Um, before I leave, I just want to say this quickly. A. One. Go follow Manifesto. Check out his Discord. B. Um, I recently changed. I I lost my old account on Twitch, so my new account is Dr. Plague 1334 Anyways, have a great night, y'all, and let's just... Mm, how do I say this? I'm trying to think of the words, but it... They to me um everyone have a great time coming on monday all right how about it dr plague everybody hey all right well Naporius, man how you doing tonight my brother you doing all right 
doing all right. Doing all right. I was thinking of doing hey, a little bit, but not, so not sure how it would turn out. But other than that, yo, know, feeling good. All right. Well, snapping all that. It's probably going to have to be the next time around because I think we are just about to wrap it up. It seems like things are dying down a bit. We're still popular on uh, Twitch right now. We got 26 viewers, but things have slowed quite a bit in the uh, the the theater. It's our first time without having anybody on stage. Shelly, I gotta say, is Shelly in the room? Yes, no, maybe so. No, she's only in Twitch. She's only on Twitch. Shelly, well, hey, thank you. You donated twenty dollars to the stream, and I gotta thank you for that, my friend. Very nice, very nice. And uh, yeah, let me give you the rundown real quick. The uh, thank you. The uh, out front behind the information booth, there is a uh, there is a big poster on the wall, big front and center at the information booth. There's all the information you need right there. There's the Discord. There's the YouTube, there's the Twitch, everything's right there for you. If uh, you are at all uh, interested, on uh, Wednesday night we get together at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Everybody usually jumps in the Discord, and uh, it's game night. We play Jackbox games. There's a game called Papa Qu Papa's Quiz that everybody's been liking lately. There's like some uh, Pictionary drawing type game. There's all kinds of shit. So if you ever want to get into something like that, it's a lot less waiting around than there is on uh, the VR chat nights. And it is a, it's a really, really good time and a chance to make some good friends and hang out with the crew and get creative and shit. They're fun games. So if you want to hang out, that is Wednesday nights. Don't forget uh, Friday night, Saturday night. We're back right here every weekend, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Talent show Friday. Tonight's com or Saturdays are comedy night slash talent night. So with that being said, Explosive Brain, thank you so much for being here. Poetic, Dr. Plague. Riptide in the back, thank yeah. you for being here. Duske Yuzi, welcome. And uh, Naporius, thank you so much. I am going to wrap it up and uh, enjoy a couple days break, but I certainly appreciate everybody that's here. Anybody that donated this weekend on the PayPal, I will be sending you a uh, an email to talk about either making up your VIP bumper or uh, or uh, getting a Munchies dedication. And then also, when you guys are on the way out, take a look around. I don't know if you guys haven't been here before. We got new art up on the walls. There's uh, some new movie posters over by the bathroom. The bathroom over there is all brand new. Uh, all the, Most of the VIP bumpers are hanging in the bathroom too. Uh, and there's spots there for the new VIPs. There's... Uh, there's new things out in the uh, in the lobby way as far as artwork and whatnot. The corner right by the uh, concession or the corner right by the theater entrance has some really cool Star Wars art that I've been holding on to forever and a day. It's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, if you guys get a chance, check out the theater. Check out the changes that are going on. And uh, we're still rocking and rolling, trying to improve everything and keep it moving. So, guys, I appreciate you being here. I feel bad. We still got 28 people on Twitch. But we'll go talk to them on the stream. Thank you all for being here. I'll see you Wednesday night, hopefully, guys. Be good. Have a good Sunday. Oh, shit. I just, I just signed off. He said, hey, 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 manifesto before you go. Right as, uh, right as I fucking hang up. I hear him go, hey, 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 manifesto before you go. That kind of stinks. Well, we got 28 people on the, uh, on the uh, Twitch right now. I was thinking, let me go look real quick. I'd like to do a raid if you guys would stick around just long enough. Let me go look real even, quick. Whoops. Even just to uh, hop in and uh, tell these people, hey, we're from the Midnight Munchies Manifesto. You should come check it out. I'm checking to see if Red Band's online. Uh, it uploads it right to VR chat. Like Red Band is offline. Character that, creator. that sucks. Picture. I was going to see Red Band's a stand-up comic from Los Angeles. I've been draining him. Trying to get him to come on to the open mic night show. I thought that'd be awesome. Apple Johns, if you're listening, I didn't mean to snap at you, man. But you can't poke fun at people on the stage, man. Everybody gets a chance. That's how it goes. All right. Let me see who's uh, Let me see who's in here. And if you guys, like I say, if you don't mind, if you guys are down. Let me see Let me see who's in the chat real quick. And I'll shout out a few of you who are still hanging with the zombie killer. I know I haven't shouted you out. Uh, chat room VIPs. Everything is all right. Yeah, and everything is all right. Jogging. And JC, let's go. Yeah, citywide news when I blow the ozone, I leave my mark. 
Big shout out, Zombie Killer. Thank you for being here. Who else? If you're in the chat right now, shout out your name. I'll give you a hey-ho. I'll give you a hey quick hello. Zombie Killer's up late. That is great hanging out with us. We got our good buddy C. Delancic in the house. What up, Delancic? We ran a good show tonight, brother. But uh, it petered out a little bit in the room. We're still strong as shit on Twitch right now. I feel bad signing off with 28 people. But yeah, I see Delancic in the room. Anybody else want to throw their name out there? Lynn Chess, thank you for being here. Let me uh, let me roll back up and see who looks like a uh, who looks like a fun person that we can go drop some viewers off at. None of our people are online, or I would go right to them and drop them off. Let's find let's find like a smaller viewer, somebody that's like doesn't have a whole lot a whole lot of people with them, and let's go just jump them, dump everybody in there, and you guys can make somebody's night. What do you think about that? Do you think that would be cool? I just want to try to pick somebody that's not like I don't want a douchey stream. I at least want somebody that looks like looks like they're they're cool. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see. Here's one named Vivin, giveaway winner. Let me go see what they're up to. It'll definitely be better. Oh. This is who we're gonna raid. There's a cat girl on a uh, on a swing and she looks like a nice person so let's go raid them i'm gonna sign off you guys make sure to check out oh we got more people how about explosive brains let's shout out another vip explosive brain you know it's a knife for eye I really like that one, dude. Magic Masher, I'm glad you had fun. Last night we were packed up. Jay, thank you for being here, my friend. Wax, definitely great night. Thank you so much, my friends. I appreciate you being here Wednesday night, 9 p.m., and then we do it all again. We do it all again Friday and Saturday next week. Those are our two big VR chat nights. Bacons, or I keep saying bacons, but coins. Thank you. And uh, yeah, just in case, man, since we got the good vibes going, I know uh, I know everybody is not fucking uh, Bill Gates, but just in case, just in case, I gotta put it out there. Just in case anybody is interested in throwing a donation the kids' way. Check out the About panels on Twitch. Get your VIP status. Get your Munchies dedication. Help out the uh, stream. You know what I'm saying? I go through 20 bucks worth of weed every stream. I got to make it up somehow. I'm just fucking with you. If you got a rich aunt or somebody that wants to throw something my way, cool. If not, I just appreciate you being here. I just got to throw it out there because sometimes it works. You know what I mean? I had a good night last night. And uh, yeah, tonight's been a great night for performances and shit. So yeah, it's been a great weekend. I'm not monetized. I don't get money from ads. I don't do nothing but get tipped every once in a while. Who else is in the room? Is there anybody else? I'm going to shout my damn self out. Check me out. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to shout my damn self out. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. All right, you guys ready? We're going to go raid this girl's stream. I'm going to go hang out in there with you. You don't have to stay long, just long enough to say, hey, the Midnight Munchies Manifesto sent us. You should check it out sometime. Let's uh, do this. Uh, let's go to the Midnight Munchies intro. There we go. Signing off. We will see you guys Wednesday. And we will back here, be back here again next weekend. You guys are freaking awesome. I had a great time. And uh, I swear if my throat, and I wasn't so hungry, I keep going. Apple Johns, it's no big deal. We all get fucked up. We all get 
fucking lit, whatever. But you know, the spirit of the theater is we don't talk bad about nobody, so it's all good, Apple Johns. You are my homie. The bond is strong. Everything is cool here. It's just, uh, you know, we support everybody. These are our people. You know what I'm saying? So no worries, no bubbles, no troubles. You the man, Apple Johns. Love you to death, homie. Don't even sweat it again. Don't even sweat it for a second. It's all good. I think I think the biggest thing is that you came in here and said you're sorry. I think that makes it all perfect. So no, nah, it's good, man. Everybody everybody gets a little fucking whatever when they're drinking or smoking or whatever. So I get it. But we are all good people here in the spirit of having fun. So it is all good. You are completely forgiven. We all love you. Welcome to the show. Thank you for being here tonight. Wax Poetic, good seeing you there at the at the finish there. Let me freaking VIP you one time. Just because. Just because it's the right thing to do. Let's wax a little poetic for a second. Yeah, you're good, Johns, man. Don't even sweat it, homie. If I had a nickel for every time I said some stupid offbeat shit, I'd fucking be a fucking billionaire, dude. Insert foot and mouth every once in a while. It happens. All right, anybody else on the way out the door? I'm going to get one spark, though, before we go raid. I'm going to get this Brian Red Band one time. We're going to go drop a raid on him and get him to come to our show. You know what I mean? It'd be awesome. All right, guys. So I will be in the chat then over on Cosmic Bliss. That's the name of the streamer we're going to go to. And uh, just let him know. Just let them know. Say, hey, the Midnight Munchies sent us. You guys make sure to subscribe, follow their shit. Let's get out of here. I'm going to enjoy my Sunday. You enjoy your Sunday. Stay positive. Have a good weekend. Much love to the crew. Thank you for being here. This has been a great, great weekend. We set records last night, people. That was the bomb, man. I love it. It goes nowhere but we're nowhere but up from here, right? Love you guys to death. Have a great weekend. Let's go raid.